All right, here we go. Uh, the next episode of the fishy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get on with it. Part five of our Slappy Fish tutorial. Uh, in this episode, we're going to add some special effects. Uh, we might just tweak things a little bit, uh, just to make sure that it's all playing well. And we're going to add in uh, the text for our score, so we know how many points we get. Um, maybe we can even put some like instructions on the screen, so that when you just say, welcome to the game, when you press spacebar, they disappear, stuff like that. Um, Alright, the first thing I think we should do is, uh, let's change the background, because we've still got the standard color, which is a bit weird. I can still like there, so like, so like, there we go, cool. I'm convinced. Alright, now I've got a black, uh, blue background. Um, just click on the. Uh, so we'll click on the main camera. Um, we might just change the background uh, color of the camera here. Um, so you to do that, you just click on main camera, click on the background. Um, and we can change the color here, so we might make it like a really convincing sort of uh, ocean blue. What else could we do? Um, I think the fish, the fish is kind of floaty at the moment. He doesn't fall very fast. I think we could change that to make it extra difficult because it's a pretty difficult game. If you've played Slappy Bird, it's actually really hard. So I think we're gonna we'll we'll copy that. We'll make it really hard as well. Um, you can avoid this if you don't if you want your game to be a bit easier. You can ignore this step. Um, I'm going to go to where the game manager is and where it uh, sets the fish's gravity. I'm going to set that to 4 instead. And then we're going to take the fish and set his jump ability to 900 to try and match that. Now when he jumps and falls, it should be a lot harder. Yeah, he falls a lot quicker. Uh, this is going to be a bit hard. Okay, he also jumps a bit too high, I think. Maybe we'll change that to... We'll change that to, like... 100, maybe 800, there we go, that's a bit better, now this should be pretty hard, oh yeah that's very hard, but it's a hard game, so there we go, that works. Um, that looks pretty good. Uh, you'll notice also the fish doesn't, uh, like the bird in Flappy Bird, he, uh, it rotates as he jumps up and down. Um, we can do that, we can copy that as well, it's very, it's pretty easy to do that. Um, jump into your fish control script, uh, and under update, just below where we have an if statement, you want to do two returns down, and you'll just say transform dot E-U-L, we are, uh, it's called an Euler, it's spelled Euler angles. It looks like Euler angles to me, but apparently we say Euler angles. Uh, we'll say that equals a new vector three. And we'll say, uh, what should we call this? We'll say zero comma zero comma rb dot velocity. dot so comma rb dot velocity dot y times three and if we save that dot file dot save we'll run that now yeah sweet the fish uh jumping up and down oh man actually that's <laughs> that's way too low okay I think we might need to change that if we go to the game manager uh, make him appear at minus three and seven. Try that out. Just make him appear a little bit higher. Because otherwise it's just very low. It's almost impossible. There we go. The game should never be impossible to start too high. Oh man, <laughs> I think that's pretty impossible. Maybe we can change it to like 3.25. Oh, uh, minus 2.75, sorry. F. And then 2.25. F. We 
can you can adjust that number as much as you want. Um, the first one is how low the gate will appear, and the second one is how high it'll appear. So uh, you can just adjust that and make it as sort of easy as you want. I'm gonna leave that mine at that though. That seems that seems pretty good for me. Actually, nah, I'll make it 7.5. There we go. Just a little tiny bit easier. It's all the way too high. Okay. Anyway, uh, let me change up this. Um, I know what we can do. Um, so now that we've changed uh, changed the height of the um, gates, now that we've changed the height of the gates, um, what we can do is let's put the score in. I think that's a pretty important part. Um, we've got a font. Uh, one of the things that I included in the resource pack was a nice font. Um, so we'll go ahead and make that now. Go up to the game object and click uh, UI text. And you'll see um, there's the word new text in the corner. Um, we kind of want to reset this whole thing. Uh, so we can just click reset and that'll put it in the middle of the screen for us. We even want uh, the exact same rule as well. Um, down here, we'll, s we'll change a few things here. Um, we'll change the font, first of all, change that to Super Justice, which is the font I included. Change the font size to 24, or however big you want it to look on your screen. Uh, we're going to change the color to white, so it's a bit more readable. I'm also going to add a component and go uh, Outline, which is, uh, this is just a thing that's built into Unity. It puts an outline around what you typed in, which I think looks pretty cool. There we go, that's good. Um, I think also change it to. I'm going to change that to these two should be centered. And we want to click uh, up here. We want to click top left. Now, when we drag that around, uh, make sure to just click on this. And you can even probably set that to zero, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe 20, 30, 40, 60. 60 looks pretty good. Uh, we have that set to minus 40, minus 20, minus 30, minus 30 looks pretty good. And what we're going to have in here is our score. Um, uh, but we don't need to type, uh, we can type in score for now I think, just so that we know what we're doing here. Um, but we're going to change that text later, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter what you type in here just yet. Um, actually, mm, I think we might need to have that, yeah, we will have to have that set. Um, alignment, make sure that's set to the left one there. Um, you'll see why that is in a moment. So change that to 70, just so it's nice and centered. Um, Alright, now go to the, uh, if we open up our game manager script, up the top here we'll make a new reference called public text. Uh, Alright, uh, before we do this, we need to add a new thing here. So if we say, go right at the top where it says using Unity Engine using system.json. Go to the next line down and say using unity engine dot ui and then put a semicolon uh, because we want to talk to the anything that's on the screen that's like text and stuff like that that's called ui it stands for user interface um, so we'll uh, start messing with some of that i'm going to say public text and we'll call this score text and put a semicolon there you might want to make a new um, uh, at the end of update We'll scroll down, and just above where you've got void make coral gate, put some enters, and we'll say void uh, update score, and then put some brackets in, and we'll say score text, uh, we'll say score plus plus, and then we'll say score text equal uh, dot text, score text dot text equals score colon plus score. And what this means is, um, oh, at the start, by the way, we'll put the word public. And what this means is um, every time this event happens, uh, your score goes up by one, and we'll change the score text to reflect that new score that you've gotten, um, which is actually pretty easy to do. Uh, we'll do that under fish control. So if we jump over to fish control and have just at the bottom here, uh, just above the last bracket, Make sure that last bracket's at the bottom there still. We want to have void on trigger enter. 
to do. But I think we need to say collider to do other. Oh, that might be broken. Hmm. That might not be right. We'll have a look in a second. Say if uh, other dot transform dot tag e equals equals goal. Then we say uh, put the brackets at the end there and say game manager dot instance dot uh, update store. Then you put two brackets at the end and a semicolon. Now what's going to happen? Uh, we'll also say just before that we'll say destroy other. Is it just that other dot game object? Yeah, actually we'll say other dot game object. We'll see if this works. Uh, now, hopefully. Oh, actually, one more thing before we uh, that won't work yet because um, again we're going to have a reference to this score text but no actual text in it. So make sure to drag that text object, which is the score, drag that onto your game manager where it says text. Now if you run the game and we make it through at least one gate, that's probably the hardest part. Yeah, there we go. We'll get the score goes up by one. Okay, it's gone two and so on. It's good. It's good. So we'll restart. Um, we can even make this have a high score. Uh, maybe we can do that a bit later on in another video. But there we go. High score is working. Oh, the score is working, which is really good. Um, that actually took a bit more time than I thought. So maybe uh, in the next video we'll make uh, some special effects when you hit something. It'll blow up uh, and you'll turn into a bunch of uh, things called particles. I'll show you how to make those in the next video.